Hi, my name is Bailey Maples and I'm a senior program manager at TechSoup. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can create a form in Asana to help coordinate client food pickups. The great thing about using Asana Forms is that it generates a URL that you can embed on your website, Facebook page, include in a digital newsletter, and more. You can edit that form as much as you need, whenever you need, and the URL stays the same, so you don't need to worry about changing it on your site. For this example, I'm in my food pickup request project, and to create a form, I select Customize in the upper right hand corner and scroll down to Forms. To save some time, I've already started a form, but I'll go ahead and edit it, selecting this icon. For this form, I've already set up some basic required fields, such as name, but you can customize this as much as you want. So for example, I created a section for dietary restrictions, and I made it required so that folks have to fill it out. I created a separate section to capture food preferences and it's not required. Because although it's important to know food preferences, it may not be as important as knowing dietary restrictions. I've also created a section for preferred confirmation method, as well as a place to capture phone and email address. I've also selected a number of fields that captures how many folks need food so that we can ensure that we have the proper amount of food for that client at pickup. One missing piece is getting a date preference uh, as to when a client would like to pick up this order. So I'm gonna drag a date field over and I'm gonna say, please provide your preferred day for pickup. I'm going to make this a required field and I'm going to connect this field to a due date so that this can help us whenever we need to schedule the pickup. And I'm gonna go ahead and select done. Now that I have the form complete, those new submissions will go under the section new submission. I'm gonna change my project view to make it easier to see what submissions we have in this section. So now I can see each tile is a new submission and new requests will just go in this section. Next, I'm going to set up a rule by going to customize and selecting rule. I'll create a custom rule so that when a new submission is in that section I created, it will automatically assign it to myself and I'll select create rule. Now, whenever a new submission comes in, it will be automatically assigned to myself and I'll get an alert in my inbox. Now that we've created a form and we've set up a rule, let's see what a new submission would look like. So this is what the client would see and let's just quickly fill out this information. We'll have the date be next Monday. And we'll select that and then submit. From our side, we can see there's a new submission. It was automatically signed to me and the pickup date is for August 15th, which will help us when scheduling. To schedule this pickup request, we have several different options depending on what works best with your organization and the employees or volunteers that you work with. So one option that we have is we can have a food pickup calendar project in Asana, which will show us which days food pickup appointments occur. 
So for that, I'm going to go into the task that was submitted and I'm going to add this task to another project and we're going to say, let's add it to the pickup calendar. Now this task will also show up on our calendar right here. And we can have all of the same information be captured from the original submission. Because this is a different project, we can edit this information and it won't do anything to that original submission. So if we wanted to have this calendar project have guests that are volunteers, we can do so. And we can delete any information that we may want to keep private. We can also reassign this task to someone else if they're gonna be in charge. And it again, won't edit that original submission. If there are calendars that you wanna sync with outside of Sauna, we can do that too. So first we'll wanna make sure that we're in our calendar project and we'll want to select this down arrow and then go to export and sync to calendar. For this example, we want to sync with a Google calendar. So we'll select this link and copy it. When we sync to the calendar, we'll want to keep in mind these things. The tasks will need to have a due date and they'll need to be incomplete and the sync will take the information from the Asana project and sync it to the calendar. But if you make any edits to your Google calendar, it won't sync back to Asana. So with that in mind, let's go add this to our Google calendar. So here we're on my Google calendar and to add the calendar from Asana, we're going to go down here to other calendars and hit plus and then we'll select from URL. We will paste that URL from Asana and we will add it. Now it's loading. If we select the calendar down here, it will show us all the settings and we'll go back. We can see this calendar right here from Asana and we can go ahead and update that name to say, food pickup and then we'll go back and if we go to next Monday we'll see that there is that request from Asana and it has all the information that we had in the calendar project so we removed certain fields of information and now we can just see what we wanted to see. And just like that, we created an intake form for scheduling food pickups. We created a calendar project in Asana, and we created a calendar sync with our Google Calendar.